as required by the played command card. All of the discards have been shuffled back into the respective decks. And my new command card for that turn is, I think, a Pro Bright. And I will elect to take a combat card. Mortar Barrage. Don't know if I'll get to use that. My only mortar unit is right here. And it's not likely to get much action. The Germans' orders for this turn are... Assault Center. Assault Center. Order unit center section. Issue an order to all battlefield units in the center section. We're gonna move this guy up. This guy's gonna go up. This guy's gonna go up. Based on this die roll, the German commander elects to take two recon or HQ points. This turn I decide to play the Assault Center. Issue an order to three units in the center section. And they will be my two machine guns and my infantry unit here. None of my combat cards have much application here. So, he's going to move up one. And that's all that's going to move. We're going to have a machine gun crossfire on this unit once again. Crossfire. And this one doesn't count, neither does this one. It subtracts these two, but these two go through, which eliminates this unit. And that results in another victory token for the British. My new command card is Counter Attack, and I will elect to take another combat card, which is. Lost Messenger. The Germans are going to assault right. Issue an order to all battlefield units in the right section, which for them is here. Since there are only three German units in their right section, they're going to be this one here, this one here, and this one here, which is not going to move but fire against this unit, which will be three dice. Three dice for the machine gun. Ooh. Three retreats. Two are cancelled, but one goes through. Which means it's going back into the crater from whence it came. That also means that since there's no longer a British unit in that front trench, this victory point is gone. The German commander elects to take a combat card. Three on a match. I'm going to choose the counterattack card for my command card, which basically copies the last command card played by the opponent on their previous turn. Which in this situation was assault right. Which means I get to move all of these units here. Basically, these units are going to move as far as they can without getting into any combat. 
he's going to move up twice. He's going to move up once, well twice, and he'll move up once, twice. So machine Gunner, we're going to move him up here, and the Mortar Team will go up here. The Germans decide an infantry assault is their best bet. Issue an order to all infantry units in one section. Units may move up to two hexes and still battle, or move three hexes and not battle. Terrain and movement battle restrictions still apply. We'll also roll to see whether the Germans will play a three on a match. Which they will. Three on a match costs one and says play alongside your command card. Target one enemy soldier unit. Roll one die against target. A soldier symbol or burst will score one hit on a target unit. We'll select this British unit for the three on a match card. It is a soldier. The unit is now reduced by one. The best way to maximize the use of the infantry assault card will be to move all of the infantry units in the center section three spaces one two three one two three one two three the German commander elects to take a combat card advance over the top the British this turn will play recon left Issue one order to a unit on the left section. When drawing a new command card, draw two. Choose one and discard the other. Unless a victory token is taken at the end of the turn. Then only draw one card. And we're going to move our favorite unit, the Bomber Squadron, up one. And he will do combat with the German machine gun. Three dice for the bomber unit against the German machine gun. That results in nothing. So we get to draw two command cards. And choose one. And we have outflanked and strike first. I'm definitely going to go with this one. We've elected to take a combat card, which is box barrage. The Germans will play a Storm of Fire, which says, Issue an order to four battlefield units to open fire and battle with one additional die this turn. Units may not be ordered when an adjacent hex to an enemy unit. Units may not move when ordered. The units ordered by the Storm of Fire command card are this machine gun unit, these two infantry units, and this machine gun unit. For the first unit, the machine gun, it rolls four against our bomber unit. Okay. These two are canceled out by the trench. And we get a hit and a HQ token. Down to two. So, one at a time, this unit is going to fire against this machine gun unit. That's three, two, one, but two because of the Storm of Fire car. Um, the flag hits. Now, this one, since it doesn't have the machine gun to fire on anymore, we'll fire at this unit. Rolling two dice. And that is a hit.
the German commander elects to take a combat card, which is surprise ambush. The British this turn will play outflanked, and in unison with that, you'll play the combat card, box barrage, for two HQ. Two units on the left and right flank. The first will be this one. The second on this flank will be artillery. The first on this flank will be this one. And the second will be this unit here. So. Neither of these units will move, but this one will. And the reserve artillery on this side will fire for full effect 3 HQ tokens at the machine gun. Okay, so we got a direct hit on this hex containing the machine gun. So that's two dice. And that is all cancelled by the, by the trench. And uh, everything else is redundant. This infantry unit will attack the German machine gun at range two. And that is all miss. And again, for that British unit attacking that German machine gun. And that's all absorbed. My new command card is Recon in Force, and I will elect to take two HQ points since I had used up my remainder in this turn. The Germans will. Do a recon right maneuver this turn. Which is bad news because they will get a victory point at the end of this turn automatically, as per the scenario rules. Well, what makes the most sense is for the German machine gun to fire at this British unit. Two dice, and that's two HQ points. And when I play solo, I always elect for the opponent player to take the victory point instead of two command cards when playing a recon card. Germans will get another combat card. Gas attack. I will play the recon in force card, which will let me order one unit in each section. And that's going to be my favorite unit right here. I'm going to do use. It's going to be this unit right here and this unit right here. First, this unit is going to move up in the close combat range of the German machine gun. This unit will also move up and stay within the craters, and this unit will move up with in close combat range of that machine gun. First combat is going to be this British unit against this German unit at range two, so two dice. No terrain modifiers for the Germans as they are in an open. And we get a burst and a retreat. So the burst causes one wound and the retreat will push them back like so. Now this unit here will close combat that machine gun unit in front of it. Range one, so close combat, three dice. So we've got hit, retreat which is neglected, and an HQ token. So, wound here. 
And... The next one will be right here. That's another three dice. Ooh, it's a hit. And an HQ token. The infantry symbol is cancelled. And our new command card is Assault Right. The Germans will be playing Probe Left. Issue an order to two units in the left section. Since that's only two units there, we'll go ahead and order this, and this. But first we should roll and see if they will use their artillery. Four, five, or six, they do. And they don't. So, this one will be ordered, and this one will also be ordered to move up. So oh, this turns only combat for the Germans, the machine gun against the infantry. And that's all absorbed. The Germans elect to take two HQ tokens. For this turn I will play Assault Right. Issue an order to all battlefield units in the right section which will include this mortar which I will move up and these three infantry hexes or units this one will move up to this side of the machine gun this one will move up one and this one will also move up one and the first combat we'll do is this one here three dice Everything is negated. We do get an HQ token. Second combat is this one here. Oh, that's, that's the wrong dice. And that's another HQ token. We drew this counterattack card for our new command card, and we'll also elect to take a new combat card, which ends up being lice. Disgusting. The Germans are going to attack center. Issue an order to three units in the center section. Looks like it's going to be these three. And I'll move this one up here, this one up here, and I'll move this one here. The Germans are also going to play Advance Over the Top, which says immediately after an ordered soldier unit moves, roll two dice. Unit may move one additional hex for each soldier symbol rolled. Unit may combat if its original movement made it eligible for the unit to combat. So. We'll roll for this unit first, two dice, and they do get an extra movement. So I'm going to move it right there. This one here. Nope. And the one beside it. Yes. And we'll just move it here. First combat will be here, rolling four dice because of the bomber. And that's two soldier units, uh, symbols which are negated by the terrain, an HQ token, and a hit. There we are. And next. We'll do this combat here. 
which is two hits. So this poor guy is down to one. And again, this combat, three dice. These two are negated, but this one isn't, and he is out. Which translates into another victory point for the Germans. The Germans are now at four victory points, and they elected to get two more HQ tokens. We'll be playing pro right, and we'll be ordering this unit and that unit. First unit attacking there. And that is a hit and a retreat and an HQ token. So they're down to two and they're going to retreat right here. Next will be this combat here, rolling three dice, and that will be a hit, two hits. The machine gun unit is now reduced to one. New command card is attack center, and I will elect to take two HQ tokens. Also, since I started the turn with the British unit in the second line, do the scenario rules. That is another temporary victory point. So we're now at the four against four. The Germans this turn will be doing an assault left. Issue an order to all battlefield units in the left section. Ghastly. Before the Germans will get to order any units, I'm going to play Lost Messenger, which costs six HQ tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play in reaction to your opponent's command card. Opponent's orders do not get through the lines. The number of battlefield units ordered this turn is reduced to one unit. Reserve artillery may not be ordered. If opponent played a combat card alongside his command card, it is returned to his hand and HQ tokens are returned to the pool. So, one unit. We're going to go ahead and order this machine gun unit. It'll probably cause the most damage if it does cause any. And it does not. But it does get an HQ token. So that was well worth it. The Germans opt to draw a command combat card. And they get trench foot. Disgusting. I will be playing Pro Bright. And I will continue to order this and that unit. Hopefully, clear these Germans out of here. So, first combat will be this one here. And that is a hit, reducing it down to one and the second combat will be this one here oh. which those two are cancelled out but I get an HQ token I opted to take two HQ tokens and my new command card is attack left the Germans this turn will be playing a storm of fire. We rolled for the gas attack card, which was not a success, and none of the other cards are applicable. Now, since no adjacent units to my units can fire this turn, it'll be this unit ordered, this mortar team ordered, and these two units ordered. Starting with this unit up here, three, two, one die. Okay. 
and it's a retreat which is ignored and then this unit here firing gets the machine gun here which is two dice uh, which is nothing and then we'll have this unit here firing here at the mortar team for one dice which does nothing and lastly we'll have the mortar team firing against this unit which is two dice rolled for the German AI and they opt to take two more HQ tokens this turn we're gonna play attack center these three here and they're all going to stay put and fire well if it survives first we'll do the uh, we'll do the machine gun crossfire so that's six dice Two bursts, two soldiers, and two retreats. Now, it's in barbed wire, which offers no protection whatsoever. So that unit is completely annihilated. Another victory token for the British. And then, lastly, this unit will fire on this unit here. Three, two, one dice. And it's a burst. Our new command card is Probe Center. And we'll also draw a combat card, which is Body Armor. The Germans are going to play, ooh, forward, yikes, we're going to roll for combat cards, starting with gas attack, does not play gas attack, two on the German right section will be this machine gun unit here, and this infantry unit here, which will move up, in the center it will be this unit moving here and over here will be the usual suspects these two units first combat will be this unit against this unit and this roll results in two hits because of the bomber which takes out this unit And that is another victory point for the Germans. And now since this machine gun's target is gone, it will not get to fire. Next, we'll have the center combat. Two dice against the mortar team which is a hit, an HQ token. And they're down to two. Next combat will be the machine gun versus this unit. Three dice. And that is one hit with the skull. Down to three. And the next combat will be this unit versus that unit. which is nothing except for an HQ token. I'm going to play Butt and Bayonet for one HQ token so that 
Play after opponent's close combat role is resolved. If your defending unit is not eliminated or forced to retreat during the close combat, your unit may attack back with one additional die against the enemy unit that just attacked. So, this unit will battle back against this one. We're going to roll to see if the Germans will play surprise ambush combat card first, which they do. Which costs three HQ tokens and says, play before your opponent's close combat roll. Target your defending unit. The target unit will battle first in the close combat with one additional die. If the opponent unit is not eliminated retreats, it may then battle as originally ordered. Ooh. This is going to be spicy. Oh dear. Two hits go through, and two soldier symbols are absorbed by the trench. We're down to one. So, now this unit will also get the battle back with one extra die. And that is three hits and an HQ token. Since this only has one HP left, it is removed. And that is another victory point for the British, which brings it up to four here. And two more on the battlefield, which results in a win for the British on Remembrance Day.